Hi friends, today I am explaining about variable valency. First we want to know what is meant by variable valency. Variable valency means the which elements exhibit more than one valency known as variable valency. The elements which exhibit more than one valency known as variable valency. The elements which exhibit which exhibit more than one valency. See friends, the elements which exhibit more than one valency known as variable valency means same element may exhibit one valency in one compound and another valency in another compound. This property is also come under variable valency. See, same element same element may exhibit one valency in one compound and another valency in another compound. Same element may exhibit one valency in one compound and another valency in another compound. This property known as variable valency. Again, the elements which exhibit more than one valency known as variable valency or the same element may exhibit one valency in one compound and another valency in another compound known as variable valency. What is meant by valency? The elements which lose, loses, gain or shade the electrons in the outermost shell to obtain stable electronic configuration known as valency. Variable valency means the element which exhibit more than valency known as variable valency. Okay. Or, or the element which loses the element which loses electrons from electrons from both the element which loses electrons from both ultimate shell or and penultimate shell the element which loses electrons from both ultimate shell val or valency shell or outermost cell and penultimate shell known as variable valency see the element which loses electrons from both outermost shell and penultimate shell. This is outermost shell and innermost shell. This the electrons loses from both outermost and innermost shells known as variable valency. So three types of this rule definitions. The elements which exhibit more than one valency known as variable valency means same element exhibit one valency in one compound and another valency in another compound. Next, the element which loses electrons from both outermost shell and penultimate shell known as variable valency. See? Why? Because the reason is in the case of transition elements, the core is not stable. Core means layer innermost layer so after the removal of valency electrons one or more electrons can be lost from the penultimate shell of the core also in the case of transition element the core is not stable so removal of electrons from both valency and penultimate shell okay next what is valency electrons valency electrons are those occupying the outermost shell or highest energy shell of an, uh, of an atom known as valence electrons. Core electrons are those occupying the inner shell or low ener lower energy shell of an atom. This is the outermost shell and this is innermost shell. 
near to the nucleus atom the shell is having lower energy and far of the nucleus having higher energy so what is the difference valence electrons are occupying valence electrons are the electrons occupying outer shell and core electrons are the electrons occupying inner shell or lower energy shell next let's do some examples for variable valency copper exhibit more than one valency one c plus one in one compound and plus two in another compound we exhibit the element which exhibit lower valency the suffix is o u s the suffix the element which get lower valency the suffix is o u s and the element which get higher valency higher valency ic suffix is ic the element which get lower valency the suffix is o u s and the element which contain higher valency the suffix is ic the suffix is ic here copper latin name cuprum so here copper exhibit plus 1 oxidation state plus 1 oxidation state or valency here plus 2 valency plus 2 valency is right in the form of in a roman roman letter also so here plus 1 valency plus 2 valency which is lower valency plus 1 is lower valency so the element which exhibit lower valency means the suffix is o u s and higher valency means suffix suffix ic so for plus 1 oxidation plus 1 oxidation state the suffix is the name is cuprous the name is cuprous and for higher va higher valency the name is cupric because for cu plus 1 is lower valency the name is cuprous and plus 2 valency the name is cupric suffix for higher valency ic and suffix for lower valency o u s see one example out of ag plus 1 and ag plus 2 which iron is named as argentic with out of ag plus 1 and ag plus 2 which iron is named as argentic the silver latin name is argentum here having ag plus 1 and ag plus 2 ag plus 1 is lower valency so the suffix is argentus and plus 2 is higher valency so this suffix is argentic here with out of ag plus 1 and ag plus 2 which ion is named as argentic here which ion is named as argentic ag plus 2 is argentic so the answer is ag plus 2 the latin name of mer mercury is hydrazerum here mercury in mercury plus 1 oxidation state exhibit mercurous and higher oxidation state exhibit mercuric next iron latin name ferrum lower valency exhibit ferrous higher valency exhibit ferric because iron having lower valency as plus 2 and higher valency as plus 3 because lower valency exhibit ferrous and higher valency exhibit ferric tin latin name is stannum lower valency exhibit stannous and higher valency exhibit stannic so in stannous lower valency exhibit o u s suffix and higher valency exhibit i c suffix so this is this is the explanation about variable valency i hope you understand 
so please like share and subscribe thank you